Africans have never been homosexual. We have never seen homosexual frogs. I have cattle, I've never seen homosexual gay cattle. And homosexuality is, a, is detrimental to human existence. It's un-African, it's unethical, it's ungodly. Go to the Bible and the Quran. We are Muslims and we believe in the Almighty Allah and what he says. Whatever Allah says is haram, we will make sure it's haram to the letter. I don't care what they feel about me. I didn't introduce the death penalty here. I found it here. And the British brought the death penalty to the Gambia. Before colonialism, there was no death penalty in Africa. Don't you know that? Go to history. But it's also said now, that... Now who? It is also said, uh -huh. Mr. President, yeah. that it was the colonials who brought in the laws against homosexuality into Africa and Africans have maintained and kept those laws. So to be truly African would be to remove those laws forbidding homosexuality and to remove the death are you, penalty. Are you attributing that homosexuality is African? There are some Africans who say so. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, in, in the slave trade, doesn't Africans or get captured people in the bush? So those, those are the same type of Africans that we still have that they use against us. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, but homosexuality is un-African. And I, let me also make it very clear. Even if the whole world accept it, I, I, Jamie, will not accept it in the Gambia. They, let them go and tell me whatever they want to tell. Do I care? I don't. What I care about is how Almighty Allah sees me. I'm a Muslim. If I die, none of them can take me to hell or heaven. But it's the Almighty Allah who will take me to wherever he decides. And homosexuality would never be accepted in this country. They can call me any name. Do I care? I don't. Imagine, Mr. President, if you knew somebody, thought they were talented and they were even related to you, and that person presented themselves as a homosexual, said, I can't help it, it's how I was made, would you still condemn them or would you say, I must be merciful, munificent, beneficent? What would you say? In applying the law, I have no relative. I have sworn to the Holy Quran that I will do my duties without fear or favor, ill will or affection.